James here, and today we're taking a look at the Red Dragon Impact Mouse software. That's right, the Red Dragon Impact Mouse. Now, this mouse is a very beautiful mouse. It does do 12,000 DPI, of course, on hand. Now, you guys see the software here. This software is really great. Now, you can adjust the lighting if you want. Yeah, I see that we have it on Wave, but if we change it to, like, Rainbow Effects, it's going to change the effects of the mouse the way it changes the colorations. Now, that's kind of cool because you can do that. You guys can do uh, uh, turn it off if you don't want the lights on or off. That's up to you. Very simple, very easy. You can then customize it. So you have all these buttons that you can swap out. Like, you know, uh, your button ones through fours. And then you have your 12 side buttons as well. That's right. There are 12 side functioning buttons. This is a full MMO style mouse. So if I go to the side buttons and I pick like one through four, uh, we could grab like, let's say button eight, and we can do like a single key, uh, LED switch mode, macro management, management, or anything in between. And that's where we're going to get into this. But first, we're going to show you guys right here the DPI. You can adjust your DPI anywhere from, you know, down here at 200 all the way up to 1240. Uh, I have about 6200 in between-ish with that. You can also adjust the pull uh, speed right here, your scroll speed, your pointer speed, and your hertz. If you want to go above 500 hertz, definitely go to 1,000 hertz. Now in macro, of course, making a macro, you will literally just do that. You can actually make a macro. So we're going to create a macro. Uh, so we're going to actually name this, let's say, James Fire. Uh, and then we're going to do this, and we're going to actually start this. So I'm going to do uh, down here, uh, since we are now starting, I'm going to do, uh, let's say, WW, of course, back, back, forth with that. So that is how we're going to do this with that. And that's how you're going to create a macro. Now, the macros are actually really easy to create with this uh, on hand. Now, with that, of course, you're going to click record delays between actions, insert defaults if you want with those, of course. Uh, we're going to add that right there, the name. Now, once we're on that name, we're going to start recording, and we're going to say WW, and then we're going to move to the side, of course, and that's actually a double insert if we wanted. We don't have to do that. We can actually back out, and we can do that, or we can stop, and then we can say cancel that one. We don't like that one, so let's reset that. So resetting that, of course, it's just going to be this easy. It's going to delete that, reset the stuff, and you're good to go. If you don't like this macro, you can get rid of it. We can do, let's say, James side step. Maybe you don't want to do it all. So that's what we do. Add that plus, start this up, and we can say side step is A, of course. And then I had accidentally hit Z's in there. So if we don't like that, of course, we can actually stop. Uh, we can actually cancel that. If we don't like this, of course, we just come up and redo it. We can remove these actions if we want to do mouse mat actions as well or anything in between. It's kind of cool that you can do all this on hand with these. Uh, we can actually get rid of that mouse mat action. We can go here. We can start to record. And let's say A, A. And then we want to go D, D. And we want to go forward. So that's a sidestep and then back around for a nice thing. Press stop. We now have that as name one. We can change the name of name one, though, if we really want to. James Sidestep and save that as that. We can apply that to that. Then we are applying this action to this mouse. It's in this mouse. Now we will go back up to where we are customizing it. We can come over here to where we're going to do a macro, right? So we want to grab this macro. We're going to grab the name right there. We're going to click yes. It's now in there. It's that simple. You have it set up. It is now function button eight. So you can hit it with your finger. It's going to do the side steps and everything in between. If you don't like that, you can reset all. You can get rid of it. Remove it. Don't worry about it. It's going to go back to the factory settings and you're good to go. Same with coming over here to that macro. Reset it. Just get rid of it. Start over fresh. The Red Dragon software for the Impact Mouse is very easy to use and very, very friendly. If you guys need something like this, this is a great option for you. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one.